Right, video, this video is about how you find the north when you're outside looking at the stars. Um, obviously it's daytime now, and we've got to use a, a little bit of imagination. Um, I've tried using it, we can't, it doesn't work at night. Um, this is north, so if we're around at night, we will see um, a constellation that most people know. Different people call it different things, it's sometimes called the Plough, uh, sometimes called Ursa Major, sometimes called the Big Dipper. Uh, the saucepan, all sorts. Mainly, it's got lots of names because it's, it looks like a, quite an interesting thing. Um, it has got this kind of saucepan shape, and but also that if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, it is a very important constellation because it is the one that points uh, to the pole star where um, due north is. So you basically have to be able to find this constellation. It's called the Plough. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, um, then, well, you should only really be, you'll only really be interested, and you can only see it if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, um, then it's always visible. It's always above the horizons. And other constellations, you know, they may come and go. The plough um, will always be visible. Um, and it will always be in a fairly northerly direction as well. So once you find the shape, find the constellation, the plough, um, you then follow the first two stars and then about the same distance of the length of the plough up to it and you hit the pole star. It's not a particularly bright star but it's not a particularly dim star but it is very much in line with these two what are called the pointer stars of the plough and once you've find, found the pole star you know that is the point that is exactly due north, that is north. From there you can do the rest of the uh, north, east, south, west. It's even more accurate than the compass. The compass will give you magnetic points. The compass is true, the truest that you can uh, get. Sometimes the plough will, uh, because it moves around the pole star, um, it won't necessarily be in that. It might be, you might see it from this angle, you might see it from that. So you have to just get, get used to the shape. Um, I, I quite often consider it the shape of a question mark. Uh, and there is an, another star down there, Arcturus, which is um, almost like the dot of the question mark in the constellation Bootes, and it's quite a, a nice way of looking at it. Um, once you found it, you found due north. The reason why this is so north, um, now we know we can find it, is because if you consider the, the planet Earth, here we are still on planet Earth, this is uh, the UK where I am at the moment. Um, and we get this spins around and it always spins this direction because we've got the UK and then it's this uh, midday in, um, in the States. So we know we're spinning around this way, um, that's by the by, because the important thing is it's always spinning around a single point of axis. And this axis, if you drew a line through this uh, middle center and from the bottom through the top, would point up to what we call the pole star. And uh, that is why all the stars appear to move around the pole star, where the, where the pole star's up in the sky. As, we, as this pl little planet of ours is spinning round, it just seems that all the stars are moving above our head and the pole star is staying still. So we will find that the um, stars will rise in uh, the east, the same as the sun does, and start in the west because they are apparently moving around just because of our little spin. They move at the same speed as the sun's, uh, sun moves across the sky. And the pole star will always stay still because it is on the end uh, of uh, the Earth's central axis. Uh, so yeah, a very important star. One, probably one of the most important stars in the sky, seeing as how it stays still and all the other stars move around it. So get out there, find it, and then it's one of the best ones. Uh, you at least know, you're, you might not be able to navigate from that one, find the constellations around it, but you at least know what direction you're facing. Um, hope that helps. Thank you all.